getting together with our families to be thankful and uh, to say thanks for what we have given, dear Lord. Uh, we, we have been blessed in this county. We've been blessed in our lives. Dear Lord, we do know there are families out there that are struggling. They've lost and uh, they need, dear Lord. We just, uh, I pray this week that uh, their needs will be met and that you comfort them and, and provide for them also, dear Lord. Dear Lord, I just ask you to be with this group of guys up here that uh, every decision we make, Lord, we, we, we pray to you and we, we bring it before you and uh, we make the decision, dear Lord, that will be best for this county and help it to grow, dear Lord. We all love Ohio County. We pray that it grows and that we ask that you be with us in everything we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Charlie. <coughs> we can call somebody at the sheriff's office. We don't have a deputy here. I'm sorry. Did I, did I turn it off, Ron? Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, before you have the... You have the uh, October the 16th and the 29th special call minutes uh, before you. I'd like to have a motion to approve. So second. Motion by Sam Small, second by Larry Morphew. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Bills, pa claims, payments, and transfers. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Discussion. I got a question it's on page 10. Animal shelter vehicle expense. Miller lighting equipment. Light yeah. Bars. Yes. 1380. They, the, you'll see it on transfers as well. It transfers into the uh, from his savings and other. Uh, he's got to retrofit the truck he's getting. And put all the the cage in it, and he's got to have the lights and stuff like that on it. Charlie's Charlie's comes out, and his goes in. So we're going to put a four door truck in the animal shelter. Yes, and the back seat will be the uh, indoor heated air conditioned compartment. The back seat comes out, and the and the cage goes in there. And they can still call cages in the back. There, theirs got wrecked, and it changed the plans. I wasn't ready to give them a new one, but the opportunity's there. And the Can that one not be fixed? It don't, they're still driving it. It's still driving it, but it's got a lot of issues. Can we can we not sell it and just get another regular cab four-wheel drive that's uh, maybe got a few miles on it? Because you, you can pick them up fairly reasonable. How many miles is the one that got wrecked on? Got wrecked. Or had a hundred and some thousand. How many? But it's a hundred and some thousand. And it's a V6 that doesn't pull the trailer very well. This yeah, Dodge, is, was thinking, Dodge is a V8. It'll pull it good. Single cab, one person riding in it, you know, might not need a lot. Yeah, well, a vehicle. we've and seen them right. used other places that way, and it works out real good for, for to have that back compartment, which we caged off, you know, caged off for animal control. These outstanding POs, is, that's not included in the bills and claims, is it? Uh, let me see. I, I don't know what that remark meant. I don't know what that means. There's somebody else is writing there. Well, I know that these, I don't know about the rest of the guys, but uh, that particular flex money has not been utilized up in the 4th District, so uh, I was just wondering if this was part of normally it. Th I don't think that's normally on there. I think it got printed out with it. Mm -hmm. well, Ann wasn't here today. But it uh, she had put it on there, but it would be used next to the flex. It's service. not on the bills and claims. Oh, okay. no, it's not. It's, it's, it's not. I, I know now, now what you're talking about. It's attached there, but it's not a bill and claim. Okay. Okay. Maybe yeah. I was just thinking maybe before we go along with that, you know, we might want to look at some other options. Yeah. On that. Because I... If we're buying stuff to be fitted for a truck, I mean, we don't need to discuss what we're going to do on that. I mean, I, I haven't been involved in any conversation. No, no that, that's just where we thought it should go, and, and uh, we needed it there, and 
And until until we realized how big a need it was, we had other places we wanted. But that seems that that's where the need is right now. How much is the cage and everything going to cost to put in, to take the back feet out and put a cage in it? Uh, he's got. They're working on that. Do you, Charlie? You know what some of the range was on that? I like those one found the one for like thirty two hundred. Is that right, Bo? Yeah. And it's in the, it's in his uh, budget because the money saved on the feed and the vet bills. So we're going to pay thirty two hundred. Put a cage in a truck. It seemed like we could take the 3200 and sell that truck and put it all together and maybe buy one that would be real feasible for that position. Could we check into that before we do this? Or I guess we, I guess could, but that's the logical thing to do. And you know, I thought it out pretty thoroughly and uh, thought that's where it was needed. Uh, what I mean is 3200 and then a $1,300 light bar and whatever that's adding up, you might might end up putting what you sell that the wreck truck for and and these other expenses and you're going to get up there to $10,000 pretty quick and you can pick up. What model is the wreck one, You can get a, you get a regular cat four-wheel drive truck. 2011. Miles, five to seven years old, it's yeah, but pickups with the cage and the lights on it, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. pickups sell pretty high, but I guess my question is, and I know body works expensive, but uh, how much would it cost to repair the one we've got that's already has that particular stuff on it? I don't know. How many miles is on it, Dave? Shy two hundred. It's it's in the high one hundreds. You know the exact amount of miles on that truck, Charlie? Which one? The one that's wrecked. There's two of them out there, correct. There's a red one and there's a white no, one. No, he's talking about the uh, 2011 Ford. The white one's like 175, 165 or 170,000 miles on it. Well, do you have any idea what it costs to repair it? Matt took it down to Mittens and done a bumper to bumper on it, and I nearly get the pull on that. Uh, after it got wrecked up there, he took, we had paid down there to do a bumper to bumper, see what everything would cost. And I don't remember what that number was because I never saw it. I mean, was it badly damaged, slightly damaged? No, I mean, it wasn't that bad damaged. We're still driving. I mean, he's still driving today. We, we're using it for us. Barb, like I said, it wouldn't pull. We just thought it was time for an upgrade there, and the opportunity was there to upgrade it to something that lasts a long time. That's a 2011, which isn't dreadfully old, but it's uh, it's been run hard. You know, animal control uh, uh, truck gets a lot of miles. Yeah, he doesn't haul anybody with him, though. I just no, see he, he don't haul people. Well, no, there wouldn't be nobody in the the back seat. Would be gone. Yeah, I'd hate to do that to a brand new truck. <coughs> I'd like to take that that off the bills and claims, and then. Then I'd be ready to vote on bills and claims and hold off on that. We're all about thinking it. about going with the truck if we don't go there. I mean, well, I was just looking at you know, if you just where at. I mean, where we're gonna take it? Where we're gonna put that truck? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'd, I'd, things were crazy. The road department's in decent shape right now, right? Uh, they still got a lot of trucks out there. It's got how many miles on them? Yeah. Several. But uh, I had that would. Uh, it's red it's, Dodge. Y'all use a lot. How many miles is on it? It should be up close to two hundred. Yeah, I just don't want to take this good half-ton truck out there to where it get, and they'll, they'll be getting another three-quarter ton next uh, in several months, a few months, and uh, I just wouldn't want to take that truck to the road department at all. It's too. Uh, well, that's high. what I was thinking. We had decided that we we're going to go with three-quarter ton for them. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, and we've got a half-ton here now, and we don't have to spend ten thousand dollars because we don't got this truck. But yeah. we're already going to spend the light money and the cage money for well, the truck. What I'm saying is, is if you're going to spend five thousand dollars in equipping this truck, that I don't think it's as good a fit as a regular cat four wheel drive truck. A four door truck and running out there and just getting an animals, one person riding around in it. You're going to spend five thousand, and you could sell that truck for four to five, and you're at ten thousand dollars. You can buy it. a good. It's still got a mount, lights, and cage in it. Mm-hmm. So you're still going to spend that five thousand dollars. Is it a truck we're driving right now got lights on? Light yeah. bar? Yes. And it's two thousand eleven Ford. Yeah. We could look, we could look at the same year models of trucks, put the same light bar on. Well, I just think, I mean, we got the truck, and I mean, we can do whatever the court desires, but 
Well, well, we well, talk about it. I know, but I'd, are now, so I, I'd put a lot of thought into it before I recommend doing that. Either, I, I just take, put a lot of thought into it and had a lot of other places we'd love to have the truck. But but uh, I, I just hate to see a brand new truck with a stick of go, uh, dog cage in the back, in the back seat. seat. But I'd rather have something where the cage went in the back of the pickup. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I guess dogs like to be warm and cool too. Could we table this to the next meeting? Well, it's on the bills and claims. We, I guess you could, uh, if you wanted to redo your motions, you could you could do the bills and claims except that bill. Okay. I will say this. I'm taking that truck on December the 4th down there and get all my stuff pulled out of it. So everything will be pulled out of that truck on December the 5th, the 6th. But, I mean, that don't matter on y'all's end. I'm just yeah. saying that everything be pulled out. But Charlie, can you not use the lights that's currently on the one now? Hey, uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of mine. I'm taking my own lights. Everything in my truck will be put goes on the new truck. truck. Did he that, get that bill? That's for him. When does he get his, Judge? Early January, mid-January? I'll get the second week of January. Yeah, that bill is, that's the animal shelter bill. That ain't Charlie's bill. Yeah, that's why that's why his transfers was on there too. Yeah. So if he didn't do, if he didn't get a truck, he don't need transfers. Yeah. If you don't care, Joe, if we, or we can look into it, something that uh, has some low mileage on it, just just see what a pickup, you know, with that particular model would cost. Um, What's he doing for a truck right now, though? It, it that's on the road. It just doesn't look okay. good. It's scratched up and was planned to put it down as their spare to have a spare and for the backup animal control officer when they run. It would be parked at the shelter for the uh, maintenance crew if they needed it and it would be there for the for the so we're not gonna sell deputy dog. Uh, no. We're going to sell the. There is another old truck out there we are going to sell. Okay. Has it already been surplus, Charlie? No, I was hoping he would be here tonight. Well, today. we'll wait till he gets here to get that. Could, done. The, could the lights on the one that's. The, that's wrecked. Could they be transferred? I mean, could they be transferred over? I don't know if there's any savings there or not. It's possible. How much does new light bar cost? What was that number a while ago? Thirteen eighty. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought before we went down there and started buying everything, we might look at some other options. Yeah, I don't want to. Jump in and say what he needs or don't need. I'll let Matt do that because that's his department. But, uh, yeah, I'm taking all the stuff off the old truck. But we'll yeah. leave that off. Okay. If we don't have any problem, I'll withdraw my motion. If I get to withdraw on the second, then we can vote on the rest of the bills and claims. Okay. If he said okay, and then go okay. So the motion will be that, uh, with the exception of the. Uh, the uh, equipment for the equipment for the uh, okay. truck. Okay, so you still got a second? Yeah. Motion so made. Okay. Go ahead and roll call. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Now, are we going to advertise for bids and for I don't know. I want him to come in and explain it. I still, I still think that's the right thing to do. It may be. I will it discuss. Be. I will discuss it with y'all separately. But I do think it's still the right decision. Do you want to make a motion and then we can do it pending? And if you guys decide not to run it, you don't have to run it. But then, because we don't have another meeting till the end of December. If it's under twenty thousand, uh, like it to. doesn't have to be bid out. So, no, I won't. Yeah. And it, it be, we, we're looking at you know. $12,000 I just I know pickups are expensive even old yeah. models but yeah it, and we have no time constraint here so I don't that would fix the thing for several years and well can we agree that that's run eight years we can be it that let's not do anything to this one truck until we decide what we comes back and make sure it's, it is feasible yeah well you don't you don't necessarily have to bid it out because it'll probably be under twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So. so just go ahead and advertise then. And then well, I don't even think you have to advertising shop. Shop. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm but but like I said, I still think this is the right thing to do, and we'll talk about it. But anyway, we've got the bills and claims paid. Now we've got the treasurer's financial report in front of you. I move we acknowledge 
Sam, motion by Sam. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, the clerk's October financial report. So moved to acknowledge. Motion by Eric County acknowledge. Have second. Jason. Second by Jason. Bullock. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Charlie Shields. Uh, what can I tell you after this time? Well, actually, I'm after something to make plenty of money. So, I know. Actually, uh, no. I like to advertise for a skister and a trailer to haul a skister. I've got the specs already done up for a 65 horse skister and the trailer to haul it on. It'll be two different bids. And, and how you going to do that? The use of it, the skister will be, is when we go out and pick up the litter on the county roads. Our road department's always so busy. Uh, we can buy it and we can turn around and re-rent it back to us as a county and we, the grant will pay for that. And we can go out and pick up the garbage and dump piles out here and there. We can pick that up. We already got the dump trailer to put the stuff in haul it off. So that way we don't have to follow our, follow our road department. And this can still be open for a bowl if you need to visit it. It can happen. Yeah, but we'll have to work out agreement with Yeah, I don't know how rough he is. It still has to, I mean, yes. it's open. Yeah, like if another department wants it, they can get it. If they want a specific park for it, they can buy it with theirs. Like Bo's been talking about getting a bush hog for it. be ideal for the walking trail. So what, are you going to have just a bucket? I will have the industrial traveling bucket where it reaches down, grab it, and pick it up. The and port. And so, so and I'm planning on trying to ask for that for the bid on it too, but so if somebody else wants a regular bucket or something else, they buy it. That's correct. That. Like road department wants it, they can get a regular bucket or another piece of attachment, and they'll work on this machine. The thing I asked for on that is make sure it would lift high enough to load into one of our dump trucks, and, and they sure did. Hundred inches, and every one of the we've kind of done the specs is 105 inches or better, so it'll load into a single axle dump truck. And that way our trucks can haul them. That way I don't have to bother the road department for anything when we go out there and do it. Because I can go in all, every end of this county and find dump piles right now that we can't get to. I'm waiting on the road department because they got one back hose, got a gravel bucket on it, and we can get the roadway cleaned up. Then the county could, I hate to say make money, but we can pay for it in a couple of years, and after that we can make money. So it will be completely reimbursed by your uh, money's right. coming in from state. Yeah, I don't have any idea how much. Uh, roughly, yeah. between the skister and that, you're probably looking at anywhere between the forty and fifty thousand range. That's just rough numbers. How long will it take to uh, recoup the money? Two years to recoup it, and the third year you just start making all the money back. And the biggest thing is, is that it frees up the equipment in the road garage. Cause right, I won't have to ask Keith for anything. They, well, no, they don't say that, Charlie. <coughs> I wouldn't go that far. Garbage, let me say that. We get stuck. We got winches on our truck. Yeah, he ain't getting that. He gets that truck. So but then, advertising for bids and the bids be opening up on December the 18th. That's okay, y'all. So what do you need now? Approval to run for advertisement. I make a motion. We run ahead to advertise. I say. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Those like that. Jason and Kenny. So uh, we've done this before, the animal control ordinance. Uh, you all have a copy. Kenny ran a copy out. And the only thing we didn't have different last time, we decided to lay it off, hold off after the election. But the, the one thing we didn't have a copy of, and if you look in your packet, on the very last page, Justin has it now. It's the uh, animal uh, shelter agreement between the county and the uh, Humane Society. It's on the very, you have to pack it, it's the last page yeah. on it. And this thing has been working well. Uh, that's why the animal shelter had money in their vet fees and their <laughs> dog food fees as they, to transfer yeah. is because of this savings here. Oh, yeah. He, I think you put them in an envelope right here if you look. And so you also, you have the, uh, in the package, you have the animal control ordinance, you have the old one and the new one. The new one has the yellow where the changes have. You have the animal shelter policy procedure manual. 
always new. And you have the job description for the animal control officer. Uh, deletions of the dishes are in the red. And then we have this agreement between the county and the uh, Humane Society. Jason, what changes was made from the... Over all this stuff too? Okay. Here's the thing. I, I, I talked to one master. They wanted to kind of hold yeah. off, look at it, to look at it the next meeting. But I'll just explain how it's working. If you look at the transfers, right. and you look, we took $6,000 from the vet be, uh, from feed and um, vet bills. And last year about this time, we were in the red, probably that much or more. So uh, he's taking money out because by us partnering with the Humane Society right now, we're saving money. So uh, it's been a good contract as far as I know. I mean, I've not, uh, he, he was here the one day and he, he spoke up for him too and said that our animal control ordinance said that, our animal control officer said that, you know, there was a good partnership right now. Kenny, uh, He's been working with it. Have you had any complaints? No, Ann says everything's financially going good. It's basically there's not a whole lot of changes, but the changes are highlighted. We have the old and the revised copies in there. And uh, the only thing different, too, like I said, that you haven't seen is the, uh, the partnership between the county and the uh, Humane Society. <coughs> and basically, the, in, in this... Agreement. We can we can terminate this contract any time, and so can they at any time. Is that the way you see it? Mm, yeah, I wrote it. So yeah, Justin wrote the. Yeah, wrote also, it. if there's any trouble, it's your fault. That's good. That'll take <laughs> you fine. Yeah. It's just I like that. We're younger kids. <laughs> and it's it's just basic. It's nothing but basically we can get out of the contract any time. Any time they spend a thousand dollars or more, they do have to bring it in front of the court. And have it approved if they're going to do anything to the building. Yeah, one of the things they wanted is if they did pay over a thousand dollars and put it into the building, that the county would reimburse them for up up to five years of whatever they put in, um, and that's why it's being brought to the court to make sure you're comfortable with possible reimbursement. Yeah, but we would have to approve that before yes. they ever could spend that money. So before they spend the money, we before they spend the money, we would have to prove it as a court. Yeah, that's okay, so that's their money. This is the first court. Here's the, here's the yes, here's the changes are highlighted in the yellow, but he gave me the old one too. So y'all are in agreement we're going to look over it and then do it on the... But here's the thing, I, I'm okay with that, but I do want to bring it up at the... Because we this has been going on since July, been going, I, I yeah. want to bring it up at the 18th meeting. These were, these were all uh, passed out. Uh, Is everybody okay with that? Ago. And listen, at that time, call in... And call and, and, and the she'll tell you the same thing. a long time ago? Oh, yeah, y'all got them in July. We had two copies passed out. The new changes. So these are the change, same changes? But it was back in July okay, and. Nothing, nothing's changed since then. Nothing's no. changed since then. Nothing's changed. The reason we held off on it last time, if you remember, Dr. Sinclair was here. Yeah. The reason we held off on it last time because we didn't have the contract between yeah. the Humane Society. Well, you also wanted the last time to have yeah. worked out, right? And so far, things, like I said, we, there's enough money that he's transferred $6,000 over. Okay, so these are the same changes that we had, we had last time. No, yeah. no more right. new. Right. Nothing. Up, up. Except the agreement between yeah. the county and the Humane Society. So we're going to vote on it at the December 18th meeting. December 18th. Everybody okay with that? Well, I mean, I, I guess I am, but we've put it off forever. Seems like all we're doing is kicking cans when this thing is a good, everything here is good and orderly and should be ready to roll. I, I'm okay to vote on it. I, just, I, am too. I don't have any problem with it. You have any problem with it? No. I'm good. And we need something to go ahead and get our, this agreement says that they'll indemnify us if there's any issues. Also, the employees have to follow all of our ordinances and regulations. No, I thought it was the way I'm smoking. Yeah, we've had this thing. For yeah, you. go ahead and make the motion, Jason. And uh, does he need to have all of these individuals, or can he can he compile them? Only one's an ordinance. I would I would say you, you would do the ordinance and then the agreement separately. Okay. Because you gotta you gotta sign the agreement. Okay. We'll do the. Hey, we'll, Hey, Jim. What we got to do? We got to vote on item one here, which is the, the animal control ordinance. That'll be first reading. You'll have to be read again. 
And then down here on the uh, uh, shelter agreement, we'll have to vote in it too. I don't think the policies and procedures or the job description will have to because it, it'll fall under the ordinance. So, do you want to make that motion, Jason? Okay. Well, Dr. Uh, I'm going to make a motion that we accept changes to the Ohio County Animal Control Ordinance 2019-2. First reading. First reading. Now, does this include the... So, the second reading no, will be... Ordinance only. Yeah, this is the ordinance only. And this will be the second reading at the December 18th meeting. Yes. Here a second? Yeah. Second below account. Further discussion? Being none, no call. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. That's passed. And then let's go down to the animal sheltering agreement. Now, but David, if we take this home, we read something. And we still got this. this well, second reading. Yeah. And please read it and call me if yeah. there is a question. But I, I assure you it's all good and in order and like it should be. Yes. I uh, will say if you're going to have a problem with anyway, if you're going to hear a complaint, it's probably going to be able to bet bills because we're not using the bet bill. I mean, our payments are way down. Yeah. Uh, so number four, the second motion today is to accept the animal shelter agreement between Ohio County Court and the Humane Society of Ohio County Incorporated. Now, is this a first and second reading on it too? No. 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 This, is this is just a, yeah, this is no. a first one. I mean, this is... This, this is, is one and only. Yeah, one and only. I'm sorry. This is an agreement. Oh, okay. This is just that two-page agreement. Right. And we just need the agreement because they are using our facilities without any agreement. We need something in there about the liability and the fact that they're... The individuals working out there are not employees of the county. They're independent contractors. And we're not financially out any more money. And like I said, no. we can get out of it within a 14-day notice, them or us. Plus, um, after five days, we're not responsible for the animals. We have a hold of five days, and then the right county, and then after that, they become property of the Ohio County Humane Society. Okay. Will it become the Ohio County Humane Society? Would it be the Ohio County Animal it, Shelter? It's always Ohio County Animal Shelter operated by the Ohio County Humane Society. And there's nothing in here where they're going, after so long, they take possession of the building or no. grounds? or No. You know, we can cancel it. Uh, just about, you know, we didn't want to get in a situation where we've been before, where we've been in agreements that have been a little difficult to cancel, you know, prior to been this there. court. Yeah. Um, but and, and they were in agreement to that. They wanted, yeah. you know, it's, there's a 14-day notice. Both of us can, con we can get out of contract any time. Yeah. But we want to have something in writing for the fact that if they're out there, we need that between the county and the county. You a second on that. Kenny, do you have anything to add to that? We need a second. No, we need uh, a for liability purposes, I'll second that. Yeah. Okay, second with Joe Byron. Okay, just go ahead and uh, roll call it. Cam? Yes. Small? No. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson. Yes. Trash. Okay. Do I sign this copy and give it to you? Okay. Yes. Now the policy and procedure manual and the animal control officer job description, that's a one time vote and that's what those are. And there's no um, second reading on those. Is that right? I'm sorry, what? For the one we just did. Was that? Well, the animal, that, that's an ordinance. Mm -hmm. But the uh, the next two are the animal procedure policy and procedure manual. Uh, I kind of think that's just something we do administratively, and in, in the, the no, no, once a, you adopt the time. ordinance, it kind of the next two into. things are one time too. Yeah. The job description. The job description. Is there changes to the job description? Yeah. The additions are in red. And is that since the July? Is this something, is that something you guys, since we did, the, I, the main thing I wanted to get is that agreement. If we want to hold off the... Job scripts are the same as you got in July. Because mm -hmm. it's no more new changes. No, no, there's no changes since July. We just held off because you guys were concerned about the... 
Yeah. Normally, your job descriptions in the past haven't gone through the court. No, they don't. Yeah, it's an administrative deal. But now on the shelter policy and procedures, it wouldn't hurt anything if you approved it. Uh, Penny, Jason, I'll ask you guys this question. Have y'all run run the figures on it and put a pencil to it and see what kind of savings we'll have in the run of a year? I, I have it. I do know what red, we were in the red several thousand dollars last year. But at this point, you know. But there could be different factors contributing to that. You're right. You're right. But I, I just wondered, Kenny, have you run... Have you run the numbers on it to see what kind of savings that the county would look at? Uh, oh, that's the ordinance, yeah, but I'm not yeah. agreeing that with the shelter. Yeah, yeah, okay. We've had virtually no vet bills or no animal food bills since they've been there. And I'm just guessing last year we posted like $20,000 in the red last year. Yeah. A lot of there. So. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Uh, motion on the on the uh, policy and procedures for shelter. Uh, that's the job description one. Yeah. For job descriptions, the man's trying. Did here figures for the. About the budget and everything. I guess that's just saying that's, that's, saying, that's saying that's what their budget is, and they have to be able to operate that budget now. Operating expense, their operating budget. Okay. So let's do number two. I make a motion that we accept the Ohio County Animal Shelter Policy and Procedure Manual as revised. Have a second. If not, I'll second it. That's the manual. That's the manual. Yeah. There's not a lot of changes as much in math. Thankfully, it's had to add humane society and stuff like that. Prayers to revise it. Is that the owners, you know, were their own expense? We've got a lot of people that brings animals in that were injured, and the county was having to pay for fees to put them down because they didn't want to, but yet they owned the dog. So the county was out a lot of money on that. And it's basically if you own the dog, you're responsible, you're responsible for it. It's not the county, it's not on the county, basically. Right. And we would put them down, you know, if it was injured in the yeah, case where we felt like we need to, at a fee. Mm -hmm. There's a fee policy on the back page, uh, twenty page twenty four. The very back page. Uh, it's the second to last page, I think. Mean. We did, we need to kind of change the fees just a little bit, as you'll see they're highlighted. It's not a lot. If they drop an animal off, that covers some of the expenses we're out that we occur. You know, for people bring animals all the time, just we're still taking them, but for a minimal fee to cover our expenses. And that's even if it's their animal or not their animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll call. Kim? Yes. Morthew? He's not here. Small? Yeah. Full up? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay, the last one is the um, 
job description for the Ohio County Animal, uh, animal Control Officer? That, that's administrative. Okay, you, I don't you believe didn't want to vote on it then? I don't believe in it on that. But there's, the changes that. are here in the red, so if you guys want to see yeah. that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any questions between now and the next meeting, just feel free to call me or Ann. Or okay. We will. On the uh, next, we have a. Whose district is this? Is this Larry? Was that Larry's or is that Joe's district? It's Larry's. Which one? It's, I don't know. It's, uh, it's Joe's district, isn't it? No, maybe it's Larry more few. Well, what are we talking about? Uh, right. The lane off of uh, off of uh, Taylor, uh, Taylor Mine Road. It's a little lane off Taylor Mine Road we've been thinking Ranch about Wood. forever. Ranch Wood. Well, I have Taylor Mine, part of Taylor Mine, but I don't have ranch. That's probably new. Well, I mean, this is new. This is what the... This is what the it's a new one? Yeah. It's 600, 600 feet. We have all the... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. We have all of the stuff they've been working on for like eight years or something, seven years anyway, and finally got the last uh, the last uh, easement signed. Okay. So is the viewing committee already gone out there? Yeah, today. So we, we've been working on something for eight years, and the first time I've heard of it is tonight. Yeah. No, personally, I've never seen it until Justine's office helped this woman. I gave her a petition to these forms several times, and they weren't filled out properly. So Justine's office helped. Wait, it's, it's, it's on, on Taylor Mine. Is it off on of Taylor Mine? Is it on the left? From if you're coming from uh, McHenry, it's on the left. You come Beaver Dam's on the right. Okay, is this the Jolene White? Yes. yes. Joanne White. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I went out there, but we hadn't talked about it together. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Bill Burden brought it to my team. Yeah, Bill Burden been out there many times working on it. It's your but, that, but it didn't have a name. No. So they're no. going to call it Ranch Wood. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead and make the motion. It's your district. I wasn't sure whose forever. it was. Four. Yeah, there's this one here. I thought they were talking about Taylor Mine where we, we drank it. Scarby's lane there, where Scarby's lane. Well, there, or, you know, that, yeah. <coughs> there are four, do, four dwellings out there in a yeah, lot for I drove this road. Yeah. But now I didn't know it was called Ranchwood. Yeah, it's just a small little. Yeah. What was it, a few tents? A few, man, it? a few hundred it's feet, wasn't it? Six hundred. Oh, it's a little over a tent. A little over a tent, yeah. Yeah, I had never been able to call it Miss White. I've called her several times. And there's four four dwellings? Yes. I know Mickey talked to me, Mickey Pays. <clears throat> he said they had problems with emergency services. I guess they're all just right there together. It's not a marked road, so they're having if trouble you, getting to them. If y'all vote on that do that, what well, we'll have to do is, since there's four houses, we'll name it. i got to do one up there where we keep this. We'll have to go in and readdress all them to Ranchwood Lane. Did you do that out there on the end of JT King? Mm -hmm. You've already done it? Okay. So it's like that one. I'll go ahead and change our addresses too. You know, and if you want to pass so. this, I have a resolution number for you ready. Okay, go ahead and give me the resolution number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. I'll make a motion on this one. Okay. 2019 10. 2019 10. Uh, here a second. Second? Yeah. Second by Larry Cam. All in favor say aye. Opposed, uh, like sign. Joe, did you want to make a motion on the ranch wood? He did. I you did. seconded it. Oh, this was it. Yeah. Okay. I thought yeah. you. I thought you'd moved to WH. No, we haven't moved to WH. Okay. That's my district. Okay. Oh, that that I don't know who that, that I did. I'll second oh, okay. it if he needs a second. No, Larry did. Larry Cam did. Okay. Everybody seconded. Uh, the, the next yes. one. That don't have to have resolution. Yeah, they, the road, they, they, everything's been turned in. Don't have to have resolution. Take love in, baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you got it. Okay. Uh, next, you have WH Loose, which is, uh, uh, J uh, yeah, Jason's uh, district. And it was discretionary funds from the governor's office. Well, what it was is, you know, guys, we had the, the state trade offs. They were going to trade off Apple House Road, a portion of Apple House Road to us. But when we black-topped out Pouse Road, we, we went over it. So um, I asked them, since we black-topped part of the state part in the middle, could we have a trade-off somewhere? So this is the trade-off I'm getting for Apple House Road, which we black-topped last year. Yeah. 
So. And this went to the secretary of the transportation cabinet for approval. It, it worked its way all the way up the ladder to there. We kept calling about it till they approved it. That last part of Apple Did y'all ever get that worked out? Still haven't figured it. They say it's not theirs, but it's it's. We don't pay white lines on our road, and they've got white lines inside there. Okay. Jason, you want to make the motion on this resolution? Yeah, I'd like to make a uh, motion to accept resolution uh, 2019-8, WH Loose. Second. Second by Sam Small. Further discussion? What was the trade out off of that? What did that end up being? That this is something you've got to sign? Yes. You just make, make that a part of the motion. Make that part of the motion. I've got to sign it. Yeah, it's authorized David to sign the uh, agreement, the resolution. So that's what you paid on Apple House. Uh, well, not exactly. Cause we, they were over three tenths of a mile. Yeah. It was three inches thick. So that's usually what they do is three inches thick. What we paid, so this is what they gave in the trade. I asked for a little bit more, but they gave me that. Yeah, it would have been on three inches. But yeah. 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 So. Okay, motion second. All in favor say aye. Uh, yeah. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, next, we have personnel, and it's uh, give me the one from the mill route driver first, and then we'll call up uh, Ch uh, Chase. We're going to hire a substitute mill driver, which gets paid only when they work, $9.35 an hour. It's uh, uh, Charles Bullington. And and uh, it's effective uh, immediately. Yes, nine thirty-five. Go. Intro roll call. Cam. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Nine twenty-five. Yes. Yes. Sub. That's what sub drivers get. Okay, uh, Chase, come on up. And Kenny, y'all come with him if you want to. Good evening. The OCDA board has uh, selected and approved a uh, person for the position of the OCDA assistant director, uh, which you all approved the hiring of back in July, I believe. It's taken us five months to find uh, someone, but we believe that we found a highly qualified individual. Uh, she's with us here tonight. Her name is Jody Ashby. Um, she comes from the Miller Road County Job Corps. She has served in the past few years as their business community liaison. And in that sense, uh, we think that she brings a lot as far as our workforce development initiatives with her uh, established relationship with employers and working knowledge of apprenticeship and skilled trade programs. She has a bachelor's degree in business administration, and she also spent some time uh, before her position with the Job Corps. Uh, with the Department of the Army overseas. So uh, at the previous uh, OCDA board meeting, the, uh, she was approved unanimously, and I bring it to you for your final approval. Okay. Well, I'll submit the name as a county hire. So it's a... You just have to say full-time hire to pay. And and a, pay. It, it, it's okay. It's a, and I believe it would be pending... Background check and drug tests. Yes, and it's thirty-seven five, and it's a salary job. So, yes. and this is assistant director, so it's a high-level job. So, just go ahead and. Is this a full-time position? Yes, effective twelve thirty eighteen. In other words, she'll be starting basically at the beginning of the new year. Yeah. So uh, this you, is the one that y'all got the grant money for. Yes. So and let's. Even though we're five months in from, you know, we got the grant back in June, but it won't activate until we actually hire the person, so that won't be an issue. Yeah. Okay. Just go into a roll call. That's what it is. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? So how many hours? This is a 40 it, hour week? It, it's at salary. least, at least it's salary. 40 plus. <clears throat> Yes. Johnson? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'd like to talk to you sometime. It's your convenience. Come by and see me. I've got to mention, I'm sorry, I know I yielded the floor, but uh, she also this past year served on the Hartford City Council, so she does have some experience with local dealings, and she's very passionate about it. 
Okay, give me those uh, bulk appointments to the extension board. The Ohio County Extension Board, uh, some, some positions has uh, uh, come open, or well, their terms have expired and they're eligible to serve again. I want to appoint them to the Extension Board for a term of, it don't say the term here, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, yeah, 2021. Until the end of 2021, so that's three-year term. Three-year term, the name is Joel Smith. He's a large farmer in the county. Go ahead and uh, do that. You can do it at the same time. Uh, let's do them separate just in case. Okay. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. The next one is Tracy McKinney, and she is a co-worker of Sam's, I believe, at Purdue, and uh, has been there a long time, and she goes out and tells people how to grow their chickens, I believe. Is that right, Kenny? But anyway, she's a good fit on the extension board, so I would ask for a roll call vote on her as well. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay. That brings us down to, I want to recognize uh, Richard Goodall from uh, Tamerlane. And uh, I will say that uh, uh, Jason Bullock and Kenny and I have met with him prior to this. So come on up and make your presentation. Did you say Richard? Richard Goodall. These appointments were based on district or just countywide? Yeah, they're countywide. They represent a facet of agriculture. You're right. I just want to thank you for the time. Uh, Tamerlane struggles with getting some area cleaned out in the back where we used to do pallets. Uh, we, we've cleaned all of it out. What we've done in, over the past, <clears throat> when we had to shut the pallet mill down, there were some, actually some good pallets left. So indirect labor that I use, you know, I try to sell some of the pallets, work some indirect labor. Well, we're out of anything that's good. So trying to get a... Uh, get it removed so we can use that area to to either do production or lease it out to, to someone for a warehouse space. But the cost of it, it would be $7,500. I have talked to Carol Ralph. He has the uh, truck drivers lined up. He said it probably take about three days to clean it out. And what he would do is take it up to actually up to his property, burn it or whatever he does with it, instead of having to take it to the land, landfill. Because if he took it to the landfill, yeah, he's going to burn it and then bury the nails and stuff on his right. farm. Is all the pallets lined up on the side? Of the no, it's just stuff actually inside, inside the building. Inside so this this not even addressing the ones that you right. come to us before about. Right. right. This is something that we can hopefully use immediately after we get it cleaned up. And the reason you're wanting to clean those out is because you're going to rent that space out for rental and and, and fund. Right. But How much is the rental for that space? Uh, right now we're looking at uh, uh, 23 cents a square foot, and you're looking at uh, approximately 38,000 square feet. Okay. And that's per month? Yes, that's per yeah, month. Per month. So you're going to make $8,740 in a month? Yes. So, you just want a loan, and then you're yeah. going to pay it back? And I always try to get it to... No, I, I'm not saying we're going to be able to... The, there's a challenge. There's, the Tamerlane has a lot of challenges. Absolutely. And this, if we could remove this one for him, then they've still got uh, so much work to do to get to save this business. And uh, it may, they, they uh, employ... Uh, disabled people that would absolutely not find another place to work. That's why it's important to me that we do it. And uh, also when we were there, we were pretty plain with the Tamerlane board that, you know, you've got to, you, you've got to manage in a way that you don't get in these predicaments again. Well, the thing I would be on is so you could get it done fast and get payment for that space fast. You know, I'd look at loaning the money so you could and then you could pay us back in, you know, six months' time or something. That would way you could get you could get the money quicker. Well, that's that's not anything I could answer tonight. I've had to talk to 
talk to the board about the money. Yeah, because you're you're gonna make you're gonna make all that money back in one month's payment. That is, if that's if they rent. Yeah. If rent it. yeah. Richard is. Uh, one time. Are we at a break-even situation at Tamburlaine? Uh, I know you've been here. I know you've been here several times. And uh, are we running? Tamburlaine. Uh, do what? Uh, we, uh, we have for years. Uh, struggling when I came here 30 years ago. Yeah. It's just uh, it's a hard business to run and make a profit. It's in, you know pay your taxes and everything. Uh, but Sherry Ashby has been working with me. We have made a lot of uh, cuts. Uh, we're selling. We're not going to run the band rally anymore. Uh, I don't have all the figures with me tonight, but we're looking at at least a year to recoup a lot of stuff that we that we're putting in place now to try to get us to a point where we can stay afloat. Yeah, and I don't. I don't since you ran this space out, this particular space we've never rented this out. Yeah. Never had. Uh, and, and years you've been there. Never well, we've not been at this building for thirty years. Oh, yeah. Okay. We started out when I first okay. came here. It was at right the road. Road. railroad tracks. Yeah. Right. How long have you been in that building? Uh, since 2004. I don't care a bit to help again, Richard, tonight, but, uh, but somewhere along the line, we're going to have to, you guys, mm -hmm. is going to have to uh, do some pencil sharpening or whatever the case may be to where because, uh, and we want to help Tamberlane, don't get me wrong. Right. But it is a business, and as a business, it should at least be on a break-even situation. So, um, and I don't have a problem, again, with helping tonight because, like a judge has alluded to, you know, you have a lot of disabled people. Maybe people can find a job anywhere else or whatever, and I know you guys do a good job at that. But, but, but somewhere along the line, that uh, even, even at that, we're going to have to uh, uh, make sure our monies are in order and, and you won't have to come back to us, and, and I won't have to be saying no. Right. And there were some fee adjustments, too, I think, that they're going to yeah. make, too. Some fee adjustments and equal <laughs> rental space we looked at. <coughs> and, and in the past, previous courts, we used to give them an annual payment yes. each. Um, we, yeah. We've stopped that, but, I mean, I remember the first four, our first. Our first four years, that first four we years, gave them first ten. Four years before that, we and, used to give a payment. And the, the Jones Court gave them twenty, I believe, but we gave them ten those mm. for, first term four yeah, years. Ever since I've been on the court, we've contributed. Yes, yeah. so. we haven't in the last two four years or so. What is it two? Two, I believe. Yeah. We haven't. Uh, we also we also run the contract with River Valley Behavioral Health. When I first came to Tamerlane, and, and it was. I, it's not an astronomical map, but it was about 30000 a year. And when we uh, did our PARs and stuff on our challenge individuals, that was a grant that River Valley had. They lost that grant to the state, so we no longer get that either. So, you know, we're trying to compensate for a lot of loss, but uh, I feel we're on the right track. We are, as you asked, we are sharpening our pencils. We are, we have increased some prices with Hunter Douglas, which is one of our biggest customers. Um, We've also uh, worked out some stuff with uh, Dysel, but we're working on some on price increase. And next is Young Manufacturing, that's been our customer for 30 some years. You know, there's a lot of, you know, little here and there that adds up to a lot. Yeah. But it will take Thank a year in order to recoup and have that rolling. You know. Well, maybe this leasing will certainly work out for you. Yeah, I hope it does. Can I make right that motion? Here. Sure. Motion by Larry Cam. I have a second. Second. Second with Sam Small. Okay. Mon monies to be taken from reserves? Yes. Okay. Did anybody check the hand on that? Uh, and, uh, and have Ann to uh, write a check. Yeah, let that motion reflect that. So, go ahead and roll call. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? No. Johnson? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, you can get with Ann next week. She's not here this week. Okay. Oh, about the uh, occupational taxes? No. That's some um, Charlotte Jones is looking into the legality of. So we don't have that? No, we're not. No. Uh, so we're not addressing that tonight? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, committee reports. Of course, uh, 
we've had two committees. We, uh, we had the one that's the most. And I will tell you, Jason, thanks for all that work and Kenny on that. They met many hours on those animal control ordinances and things. They spent a lot of time in it. That committee did. Uh, has there any other committees met since we met? I have that? another committee, uh, not a report, but <coughs> the Smoke Free Ordinance Committee. Uh, we're calling a meeting uh, for next Wednesday, November 28th at 4 p.m. at the uh, here at the old uh, courtroom on the other side of the hall. It's uh, November 28th at 4 p.m. Um, next Wednesday, right across the hall here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any other committee reports? Being none. Sam? Mm, I have no You got anything else? Nope. Joe? Yeah, I've got one thing because we haven't had a road committee meeting in a while. Uh, and we need to be looking into this. We talked about it. We kicked the can down the road several times about it, Judge. Is the uh, spraying our county roads? Mm -hmm. Mowing. We we've, we've not been able to get the mowing with the amount of work the road department's got. Mm -hmm. Ever under under grass and get it done right. Yeah. And we talked about the spraying. And what I want to look into <coughs> is a larger spray truck talk to the state they've got some out there on the lots but, you know a little pickup truck with a, a tank in the back isn't going to cut it on the actually yeah. if you're going to do the spray if you're going to do big sections and the spray mm -hmm. is about a fourth of the cost of mowing plus if you spray early spring before the before you have the weeds and everything coming up it's going to annihilate your your johnson grass and your horse weeds from the ones i've checked with is doing it and then what it's doing is they're, they're reducing their amount of mowing time. So not only is it a fourth of the cost of a round of mowing, but then you're reducing the, you know, how many times you mow yeah. a year. Uh, spray, uh, no, no, no. I, I, I didn't realize, this, I didn't sure realize we need the rig, but I sure know that we need spray. And this, when I say this, some people's gonna think, oh, we're gonna spray, on, spray Roundup on the side of the road and kill it brown. This is to just kill out the Johnson grass and horse weeds that would be the ones that we have all the trouble with on line of sight and hanging out over in the road. Well, we can still use it and make it brown around stop signs and guardrails with the other stuff. Then. Well, you could, so, but I mean, we, we don't want to kill the banks and have erosion. Your, yeah, have your road. We don't want to have No, uh, definitely, we want to do that. I did, I wasn't aware we needed a different it's rig. It's a safety issue. I so thought well, we needed to get to work earlier. The, the rig that we have right now is just the pickup truck. You know, you can mm -hmm. only carry how much in the back. Was it 50 or 100 gallons? 100 gallons is not going to go very far. Plus, it sprays in the rear, and if you're going to spray this right, you can keep it controlled. You get the two-ton unit mm -hmm. with the spray in the front where you can actually monitor what you're spraying. And once you look into what you're getting one of those keys, because we definitely want to spray. They that, had this, one that we'd want to get down to control. It was a state truck, and they turned it into a state garage. I had the unit number wrote down when I went to the, the Roadmaster class about spraying, and it was the guy that run it was there and he said it was a really good truck and he said actually he said it was one of the better ones in the state had. Well find out about it Keith and see if we can, we'll see if we can short circuit and what they call screen it up there at the state. We're, we're going up there Tuesday I know they got some spray trucks up there. Well just right. go ahead and bring it back if you want to. Anybody wants to ride up with us is more welcome to too. But we're I mean I don't know what the price is we need to look into it. So. Well we're just going to get it. We we're going to make sure we get the right one too. <laughs> Joe, I I'm think. Sure if there's one good one, there's always one bad one. Joe, I think you're probably being liberal on the fourth of the 25 percent. I don't know how much the uh, the uh, killer is, the grass killer, or whatever. But uh, it it takes an enormous amount of money, more enormous amount of labor, to mow our roads. And like year before last, it was September before we got. Uh, the first mowing right. done, and this year it was like that too. And I well, know, Keith, you know, that that's that is a problem with keeping the labor and the uh, yeah our, our tractors together. So. One pass with our tractors, one man mowing, he can usually only reach out there about four, maybe five feet. Yeah, and the truck will spray fifteen feet. You know, and it's controlled where you don't have to spray. He's got four settings, so you know it's it's, it's set up like that. So you yeah. can, you can target how far you want to spray. Hey, Charlie. If you will, when are you going up? Tuesday. By yourself? Uh, me and Keith. Uh, holler at me before you go up. I may want to ride up and see and 
See, see, uh, I tell you what, it's I, I I give blood this year, this week, and I think I can afford it this week. Man. But it, in all seriousness, you know, we try to do at least one pass when we're running behind on all everything, and if we're only reaching out there four feet, but we got an eight foot horse weed, it falls over. It's four foot into the rope, and it, this this is going to get you over there where yeah. you can't even reach it. How many? Uh, how many miles can you get on, say, a gallon of insecticide or whatever? So, I couldn't answer. Yeah, we got a guy out. that we can talk to. Yeah, we find out. I just, I just curious because. Depending on what you're spraying and how thick it was, you know, you're going to get about yeah. a quart to an acre. Yeah. So, five thousand two hundred eighty square feet. Yeah. I would think that uh, in I, I would think in a couple of weeks' time, in an eight ten hour day, that you could spray every road we had in the county. You could spray a lot. I mean, you could move along pretty good. It, of course, you got two sides on the road. Understand? Well, you, spread, you have to look out for we own fifteen foot from the center yeah. of the road and places we might own twenty. Yeah. Well, I mean, if 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 we accidentally help the neighbor out a little bit, don't hurt anything. Yeah, but the n neighbor may not look at it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they might wonder horse legs. Yeah. If you divide it by 15, which would be as far as out here, you're, you're saying a quart to an acre, you'd, you'd be able to go 2,900 feet down a road. A little over half a mile. So, if, if and that's on... Court, you know, I don't know how that works out on these chemicals, but I, I know some of them's all different. Right? It might not be a quart, but it's... But, I mean, it's... It goes a long way. Yeah. No, we the, should. The, the Johnson grass and horse weeds in, in the low line areas and everything is just is the it's the problem I run into. You can you can mow and three or four weeks later Johnson grass is already right. back up. This is the back first up. year we've had years. Yeah. Yeah. It's worse every year. Rainy well, rainy season. season. Yeah. It's gonna spread. It's worse every year. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I I recommend just looking at that. Yeah. yeah. There's no problem. We'll do that. Okay. Anything else, Joe? Uh, that's it right now. Okay. Justin? No, Justin. Uh, anybody else have anything for the good of the body? If they don't, I declare this meeting adjourned. We'll see you back here on the 18th of uh, December. Was we going to have a road meeting at 4 o'clock?